North Korean women are subjected to abuse on a daily basis, and the odds that this will change is not particularly in their favor. In North Korea, there are many human rights that are yearly, monthly, and daily violated to extreme levels. The issues are that so many people are being harmed from having these rights violated, and the government is, doing, is not doing anything to help. Even worse, the government is the one violating all these rights. But the problem extends more than that. In the country, there are counted to be 200,000 people locked up in concentration camps, and many of those people are women. In there, not only are they starved, abused, and forced to do hard labor, but the guards at these concentration camps rape the women not once or twice, but many times, until they are tired of the same woman and move on to their next victim. One out of hundreds of rights that are being violated is the right that no one shall be subjected to torture or to cruel, inhum inhumane, or degrading treatment or punishment. This right is being violated in so many ways, and as much as anyone tries to stop the North Korean government, at least for now, the rights are still being violated. The United States of America has started wars against North Korea and hoped that they will win and take over, but nothing has been su successful. Every citizen in the country that does not work for the government is being harmed, and the only people benefiting is the government. Powerful countries such as the U.S. and more need to invade North Korea. The country needs to take down their ruler and bring forth a noble one, fair and honest one. And lastly, free the refugees. If all these things happen, or even only one, then the people of North Korea will be one step closer to freedom. The North Koreans have faced many hard years, and although a new ruler took control by the name of Kim Jong-un, he showed no hope in changing the miserable lives of citizens into bearable ones. When Kim Jong-un was first brought to power, there was much propaganda about him and how he will be as a leader. As Kim has continued to rule, he has gotten more selfish, greedy, and inhumane towards the citizens. Now more than ever in the history of North Korea are the citizens treated so badly. Stated in the Human Rights Watch article on North Korea are truths about the abuse citizens go through. It says, North Korean refugees living in exile, some of whom fled after Kim Jong-un took power, told Human Rights Watch that people arrested in North Korea are routinely tortured by officials seeking confessions, bribes, and obedience. Common forms of torture include sleep deprivation, beatings with iron rods or sticks, kicking and slapping, and forced sitting or standing for hours. Guards also sexually abuse female detainees. One reason North Korea may be able to get away with doing such horrible things is because the country is very isolated and alone. North Korean people are told to go by a philosophy that North Koreans must rely on themselves only, which, which forced the country to maintain independence in every form. The time period of this human right is very much in the present, past, and most likely the future as well. There are many up-to-date articles about these violations, which clearly proves that it, has, that it is happening in the present. Also, there are many documents that prove these rights have been violated in the past, and because there has not been any progress noted of the government being better, it shows that it will continue to the future. In countries besides North Korea, there is still the problem of women being segregated and abused. In some places, such as the Dominican Republic of the Congo, women are raped and abused to such high extents it's scary. On the other hand, there are also countries that have made rules and modernizations to prevent specific human rights from being violated. For example, the United States has created laws that allow women and men to be equal, and the U.S. government has strict punishments for sexual abuse, slavery, rape, etc. Fixing these errors and changing the ways of the North Korean government is not a simple task, nor is thinking about ideas of how to prevent such hateful acts from happening. One possible method for stopping this cruelty is evacuating all the prisoners in the concentration camps and moving them to safer places. Sometime, something individuals can do that would easily spread awareness is by posting news on social media. Although people may say that social media does not help, that can be contradicted. Even though posting something on Facebook or Twitter does not directly help, it allows people to be aware of the things that are going on across seas, which can lead to bigger organizations to get involved and make a difference. There are many organizations working to try and free as many refugee camps as possible, and the organizations ask of people to donate money to make this possible. 
There are many people trying to help the helpless citizens, but even so, there is still so much hate and cruelty going on that people from outside countries cannot stop. There is no doubt that many things can be changed about how the, Nor how the government in North Korea can treat its citizens much better. It is a challenging task to have the abuse and torture completely vanish, but it is something worth fighting for. One recommendation that could benefit in securing that the rights are not violated is if powerful countries around the world, such as the United States of America, invade North Korea and force the government into being more fair. Another recommendation that could be taken to heart and would solve many problems is if a fair, honest, and noble leader took charge, because the reason for the violations of these rights is because there is a selfish ruler. One last recommendation that is both achievable and realistic is if all the refugee and concentration camps were freed, because all of the abuse, sex, assault, rape, starvation, etc. happen in the concentration camps. North Korea is a dangerous place for people to live in, and if it were up to the citizens, they would not be there. But they are forced to stay in the borders of the country, and every day they live in fear, exhaustion, and hunger.